was a, a, a new kind of entertainer. Uh, lots of energy. And he could turn a word and get a laugh anytime he wanted. Prima comes to New York in 1934. Uh, he had been discovered the previous year by Guy Lombardo, of all people. We don't think of Guy Lombardo as somebody who was out to do a lot for hot jazz, but he just you know, heard Prima playing at a club in New Orleans, brought him up. Uh, of course, Mama made him come home from New York uh, at first, but then she agreed when he got home to let him go back to stay and try to make good. And eventually he comes into the famous door in New York. And they were in instantaneous smash. And when Prima plays there on 52nd Street in 34, it starts this big breakthrough, this big kind of uh, avalanche of interest in 52nd Street. And it really establishes that, that venue as the street of jazz, as it became. And it also established Prima as kind of a trendy in thing at that point. That's, that's, that's Prima's first burst of fame. Colin Response is, of course, one of the, uh, the first and most important components of jazz. Colin Response is essential to the way New Orleans jazz musicians think. But on a personal relationship, too, uh, you want feedback. You want to be connected to the person you're dealing with. It's warm rather than cold. And Primo was a master of this, of, of getting a response, of, of finding a way to get people to react. <laughs> Gene Krupa would come in and sit.